welcome to another episode of Half Pint Cooking. Today we're gonna to make an apple crisp. We already have our apples sliced, and if you want to learn how to do that, that's what we, we did that before when we dried our apples. In this bowl, we have two quarts, so that's eight cups of sliced apples. Okay, and then we've mixed a half a cup of brown sugar. We did some sprinkles of some cinnamon in there, and we did a little bit of vanilla in our apples already, huh? Now we're gonna make the crispy part. We need, Libby, we need one and a half cups of flour. This doesn't have to be exact, so we're not gonna use a spoon and knife. That's great. Put it in the bowl. And then another half. Let's fill that up halfway. Then we are gonna do two cups of oats. You are gonna use the same measuring cup and we're gonna do two cups. This is just quick oats. You can also do the old fashioned one if you want. Or half and half. Today we're just doing quick oats. Perfect. Now we need some cinnamon and nutmeg. But first, because we have the brown sugar out, let's do one and a half cups of brown sugar. This is already dirty because we used it for our apples. You actually usually want to pack brown sugar down. So I have a cup in here, I mean a spoon in here, and I pack it in because brown sugar just measures funny. Now we need the teaspoon measuring spoon. This? One that says one TST. Perfect. Now we want one teaspoon of cinnamon. And then a half a teaspoon of nutmeg. put it in and we're gonna mix it. Now this is called a pastry blender and that mixes it because the thing that we're gonna do next is we're gonna cut butter into it. So we need one cup of butter and you need to turn your oven on to 350 degrees, okay? So we have our butter. It's been sitting out a little bit so it's a little bit warm but you kind of want it cold. Now we're gonna get a knife and we are just going, you can use a butter knife or a dill knife. We're just gonna cut Little slices. Yeah, it, like it does kind of look like cheese. Say hi, Jane. Hi. <laughs> okay, Libby, what is that? Is that hard? We did another cube of butter, so there's two cubes or one cup of butter. Libby's over here working up a sweat. Yeah, so this pastry blender just blends it all up and makes it not a dough, it'll make it a little bit crumbly. That's what we want. So we're just gonna keep doing that until it's all mixed. A good way to use these, I'm gonna show you, is you put your thumb right there, you rock it back and forth. You push down and rock it. Uh. Okay, let's let Jane have a turn. Mm -hmm. Okay, our oven's ready, are we ready? I accidentally messed up the recording on our first time around, and so I'm just gonna have to explain to you what we do. We get a nine by 13 casserole dish, or cake pan, whatever. This is a Pyrex, and you spray the bottom of it. We have our cooking spray. You spray the bottom of it and you put half of the mixture down and it's gonna be a little bit crumbly. You put half of it down in the pan and then you're gonna press it down. That's just half of the mixture. And then you're gonna get all of your apples and pour your apples on top of the bottom, on top of the mixture on the bottom. And then with the rest of the top, you're gonna crumble it just like this. Use your fingers and crumble it, the rest of it on top, but don't press it down. You want it to be crumbly and pretty on top. And then you put it in the oven at 350 degrees for 45 to 50 minutes. Okay, our dessert just came out of the oven and it looks so good, doesn't it? You can smell it. Doesn't the house smell so good? Okay, so we let it sit out for about five minutes so it's not super hot. Libby, do you wanna put some in the bowl? Now, and we also have some vanilla ice cream and some caramel sauce. This is my favorite. It is Smucker's Simply Simple Delight Salted Caramel. Okay, look at that. <laughs> Yum, who's excited? Okay, now let's scoop out some ice cream. Let's move it out of the way and then we'll put some caramel on. Oops. Doesn't that look 
good. Okay, you gonna taste it? Yeah. What do you think? Delicious. <laughs> what was that? Delicious. Delicious. Are you spoiling your dinner? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Have fun cooking. Don't forget to subscribe and give us a thumbs up. Bye. Mm -mm.